Hello everyone and welcome to this year's radio program. Today we have with us some students from Bilbao that have been staying in Ireland for two weeks with two Irish families. You will recognize some of the voices from last time, some others are new as well. But all together we'll try to keep you entertained for the whole of the program today. Today's presenters are Danny and myself, John. Joining me in the studio now we have Mikel and Ander. They will give us their impressions about a first year student and a veteran student. Hello and welcome. Thanks for having us. Hi, how are you? Well, I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> well, um, Ander, why did you make the decision to come to Ireland? Then, uh, Bego asked me in the academy, and I felt ready to come to a different place when, with a different family, with a different culture, everything in English, then. And, well, I think I made the right decision. Okay, and what about you, Mikkel? Well, I've been coming here for three years now, and the first time I just kind of took the chance because I didn't know what to expect, but I really enjoyed it. And so I said, let's go for a second year, and I enjoyed it even more. So when I was given the chance to come for a third year, I said I have to make uh, the best of it and make it as enjoyable and make it the best year. So that's what I did. Hmm. And what is the first thing that caught your attention? Well, this has been my third year. I didn't really think anything would impress me. But the first year, everything was new. The second one, I was trying to pay attention to some different things. And this year in particular, I've really been paying attention to how uh, Irish people uh, behave, their body language, the way they use things like carbony and and just the way they, they act and interact with each other. And I, I found it really, really interesting. Uh, and for me, that's an easy question with another easy answer. That the first and the most important thing was the hospitality of, in my case, Adele and her family. That they always try to help us, help us in all of the things. And that's for me, uh, that's beautiful. Okay, now, uh, Ander, walk us through your two-week experience. How was it? How did you feel? I think that experience is perfect because it's the, my favorite of my life. Because it uh, had got a lot, a lot all of the things that I thought, like in the first day doing the pizza oven, on the second uh, uh, were on the natural park, and another activities like the cupcakes, for me, uh, that's a perfect experience. Yeah, I like... I 100% agree with you because uh, when I came, I I really wanted this to be like the the prize at the end of a really long and tough year, and so I I truly think it was because uh, they got their program spot on and everything went according to plan. Even when it didn't, the activities were cool and all. And as Ander said. Uh, like things like the pizza oven where we built the whole thing and then we could experience making our own food in it and things like classical things like jumping off the pier, which is for me one of the best things you can do in Ireland. With uh, freezing water. <laughs> yeah, of course. But <laughs> uh, and unique experiences like the uh, staying overnight in the Heritage Park. I, I went there three years ago and I wouldn't have thought I'd come back and, and stay there and sleep there, which was like so different and, and unique. So overall, I really don't see how it could be any better as for now. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you uh, for being with us. It was really interesting here, your points of view. It was a pleasure being here. Thank you a lot. Well, now my college, uh, Danny, is going to take over from here. But before that, this morning we asked the lads how does it feel to be integrated in a different family? And this is what they said. Oh, it has been a fantastic experience because the, the, our host family are, are being very kind and lovely and we are all very integrated in the family lives and all like that and we do a lot of things with them and it has been lovely. Um, it's nice, it's a new experience and um, they are very good persons. Uh, I think it's a nice experience for two weeks to be in another family that isn't the same as yours. And you learn a lot of things and you get used to habits and some things that 
are not your uh, current uh, things. I don't know. Okay, very good. Thank you. A very nice experience uh, because we do a lot of things and they are very nice person. Uh, it is a very nice experience. I think that uh, sometimes you are uh, in a relaxed uh, situation, staying in your town or something like that, and uh, staying in this uh, situation, uh, it helps you to open your mind. Oh, I thought it was uh, going to be more difficult, but no, it was a nice experience to stay two weeks uh, here in Madrid. Well, I'll be honest with you, when I first came uh, two years ago, I didn't really know what to expect. But over time, uh, confidence between us has grown to a point where I know I can talk to the family about anything and everything and, and just know that uh, they'll support me while I'm here and, and they'll help me make decisions. And even when I'm not here, I can be in touch with them. So I think it's a, a great thing. Okay, this is a be beautiful experience because then I don't found any differences with my family because they'll try to help us in all of the things and we had a lot of fun with her and her family. Explaining that trade was a little bit difficult to understand them, to understand them the English, but in the second day I understand and I speak with them and it's a beautiful experience. Well, uh, when, I, when I came here last year, uh, it's, in the beginning it's difficult because uh, you are with people that you aren't used to and uh, maybe the first days were like we were in, like, in awkward situations, but then when we, we uh, get used to each other, we was like a, a normal family and uh, they, are, they care for each other a lot and it was nice to share that uh, kind of relationship with the family. Thanks, John. And now we have here two students that have spent a night at the Wexford Heritage Park. Hi, Mikel, and hi, Raquel. Welcome to the program. Thank you. Hi. Raquel, please walk us through your experience in the Heritage Park. Mm, it was a great experience, and I could recommend it to other people to go and visit the park. Oh, that's fine. And what about you, Mikel? It was a nice experience because uh, uh, you know uh, historical things and it helps you to uh, stay with other people that you have ever known. That is very interesting. Um, thank you. And what was the first thing that caught your eye, Raquel? Oh, the houses where people live and who they used to cook the food in the fire. Oh, great. That is fantastic. The way that they cook and all like that. And Michael, or, um, and Mikkel, is there any more that you want to tell us? Uh, no, I have to say that I will uh, recommend this and uh, I have to say also that uh, it is a very nice experience. I know that some of you slept outdoors in a sleeping bags. Were you ever afraid of noises, animals, something that happened? Mm, yeah, I sleep outdoors and I, I think for me it's better because uh, the house was so dirty. And yeah. That is what we have time for today. Thank you for coming to our program. It has been a pleasure to interview you. Earlier today, Manuel and Mikkel were, were, were talking about the similarities between Basque and Irish culture. And here is what they had to say. The other day, Manuel, you remember uh, when we were dancing, there was a thought going around my mind. That I think you also thought the same. We were dancing uh, a bass dance with Irish music, didn't that feel like a little bit weird but at the same time familiar? Yeah, yeah. It's unfamiliar to me actually last year when we were performing a, in, a, in an Irish pub. Yeah, we, we had been rehearsing like for three days and we did, it, we did the performance on a Sunday we and did. we were in, a, in the pub and suddenly a really, really, really familiar sound uh, came to my ears. I don't know how, how to explain. And it actually was a really typical Basque dance it that was. we uh, always dance in every typical uh, festival of the Basque country. And from from that day on, uh, I it sounded me 
really, really familiar. Like the Irish yeah. music and the bass music have a, a mixture or something like that. Didn't you feel so? Yeah, yeah, and in fact, I know you're a dancer and you've been dancing since you were a little boy. And it must uh, be like a strange thing to you to be listening to Irish music and Irish musicians playing polkas and you have this thought in your mind like I can dance that even though I'm Basque because Basque dances much uh, the Irish style of music don't they? That's it, that's it and what it really appealed to me was how the music sounded so this year what I wanted to do what I wanted to do was like kind of a uh, mixed up uh, both cultures and uh, dance uh, our typical Basque dance yeah. with I wish with Irish music, so I want I wanted uh, adult sons to to do it. Uh, that, so because they are uh, nice, musicians. yeah, they're brilliant. They're brilliant, they're brilliant. Like. and we we did it. Yes, yeah. we, we, we you are really said it. Yeah, yeah. And how 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 did you feel? I mean, having Kahal, uh, Brian, and Billy who are excellent musicians play the the polkas and the ten of us being able to dance them and to be able to follow the, the rhythm and all that and even change up the, the, the actual tune and change the polkas and the, the dance still fitted into the song like that was amazing wasn't it it, wa- it was brilliant yeah it was brilliant yeah and I was just thinking by like when we were dancing I was thinking when you go back to, to the Basque country and you're doing your dancing and you're maybe uh, listening to, to some of our traditional music, won't you be thinking about Ireland and how familiar it sounds? Maybe, maybe. I, I, knew, I knew most of the Basque tunes came from the Celtic, but now I'm going to definitely think that er, er, some, some, some are Irish and I'll have like, uh, some thoughts. Yeah, I wish. I'm not even a dancer, and I'll be thinking about it when I listen. Yeah. Great. And now join a, joining us in the studio are the people that make all of this possible. Welcome to the program, Liz and Adele. Thanks, Danny. Hi. <laughs> How long have you two been doing this type of programs with the Spanish student? Uh, this is kind of our fourth, but our fifth too. Yeah, fourth year. Yeah. Oh, that's great. And do you think that the student that the, that the students feel part of your families? We certainly hope so. I uh, yeah. This year I had a couple of students. Well, I had four students coming back, and I was pleased to see that yes, they were definitely behaving more like members of the family. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, I think um, it's lovely when people come to your home and you see that they're relaxed and they're helping themselves to the remote control or going to get something in the kitchen or they're making themselves at home because that's the biggest worry is that they would feel awkward for the whole two weeks. So when they relax and begin to be at home in my home, then that's really what makes us feel good. That's really great. And are you going to repeat the programme with the students next year? We're asked that every year on this day, and (laughs) (laughs) it's probably not the best day to ask us. Uh, Well, we we don't promise, but certainly at this stage we're feeling, oh, they're going to be gone, our house is going to be so empty, we're going to miss them, but also we're exhausted, we'll sleep the next day. (laughs) So... So we usually reserve our final decision until August, but uh, it's probably safe to say it will happen again. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, thank you for your time, and we hope you will join us next year. That is all, all we have time for today. We hope you will join us the next time. From me, Danny. And from me, John. Bye. Bye.